What's something that's secretly been great about the pandemic? Mystery of stuff. I have a 14-month-old daughter born in January 2020. Had I been commuting to work every day, I would have missed out on a lot of her early months of development and wouldn't have the bond with her that I do. Also used the time to teach my 4-year-old son to ride a bike, and went on some awesome bike rides with him. We were locked to a 5 kilometers radius for a while, and we got to know our neighborhood really well. Made rafts and floated them down the creek. Harassed a lot of bull ants and jumped in a lot of puddles. Working from home, I love not having to communicate with anyone face to face because I stutter too much. Not shaking hands. I have palmar hyperhidrosis, sweaty palms, and am always nervous about shaking hands. I try to manage it, but it is always a stressor. No more. My 14-year-old dog passed away last July. Our whole family had been working slash schooling from home full-time starting in March, so we all got to love on her and care for her full-time for her last months. Same. My childhood dog passed away October 2020, had a stroke, and he suddenly couldn't walk or eat or drink, he was already skinnier due to his lack of appetite, so we decided to put him down. I think of him every day, and I think my other dog misses him too. Gave me the opening to get out of a dead-end delivery job and focus on the shit I actually went to school for. I'm getting there. My employer now knows for sure that working from home is completely doable and really doesn't fuck up productivity. I've also learned that I like going into the office once or twice a week just to break up the monotony of working from home all the time. I'm sick a lot less often. The kids are doing school entirely from home, so they don't bring crap home like they used to. I don't have kids, but I also got sick zero times last year. Amazing what never leaving home and wearing masks will do, COVID aside. Went from taking a week of sick time off over all of 2019 to no days off except holidays in 2020. Without a social life, I've been forced to focus on myself instead of other people so I've cut down on my drinking, lost 35 pounds, and started seeing a therapist. Here's hoping I come out of this in better physical and mental shape than I went in. Man I feel totally the opposite. I've gained weight and feel totally anxious and depressed. I think I was before but now feel like Def M. Considering therapy, but feel overwhelmed by the different options. Like there are so many different titles and qualifications and methods, and the insurance is even more confusing than finding a primary care. Which I also need to do. I'm missing a tooth fairly close to the front of my mouth, and I don't feel self-conscious smiling in public when I'm wearing a mask. It's a silly thing, but I kinda missed real smiles. No pressure to go somewhere on my days off. I don't feel like I'm wasting time when I have days off and don't spend them traveling or seeing people. I love staying at home and just hanging with my two cats. Sweatpants on, messy bun, junk food and games. I'm content with that. Yes. I think I have learned to accept my homebody nature instead of feeling like I should be going out and doing things. There's nothing wrong with making a home for yourself and then enjoying being there. I have a 19-year-old cat. He's been getting slower and I know what's on the horizon, but the fact that I've been able to be at home all day every day. He's loved it, he's on my lap hours a day. Knowing that I've made his, probably, last year the best is probably the only thing good about the pandemic. Good for you. I'm 25, and the remaining three-fourths of the pets I had since grade school all had to be put down over the course of the last year. Two dogs and a cat. They all just happened to be at that age, and I'm so glad I got to spend the last few months they had hanging out with them. A lot of restaurants have really upped their online ordering and drive through game. Like a well-oiled machine. And some shockingly haven't. I got takeout from one of my favorite restaurants the other day, and it took so long to order on the phone, that next time I'm just going to go down there and place an order in person. 
I had to speak to three different people to accomplish it being put on hold each time and give my credit card over the phone. And before you ask, yes, they advertise takeout on their website and menu, so it isn't as if it's a service they don't normally provide. My caution and anxiety about people can be successfully hidden by the pandemic. I am not forced to be overly social and can more successfully avoid crowded areas. For me personally, online learning. It just clicks with my brain somehow. I've gotten the best grades these past few semesters of my whole time in college. I'm off academic probation, I got an A in a class I failed twice before, required for my major, and I am able to do a second major I really wanted. I'm so much less stressed about exams and it feels so good to be able to show my parents grades I'm proud of. I don't know how I would have been able to do this without online classes. I had a lot of trouble with attendance and my bad memory, and now I'm able to go to class from my room and re-watch lectures and have some notes for exams. I felt so low my first few years of college and I finally feel good about myself as a student. It's still hard to believe that it's me getting these grades and graduation is scary, but I'm so glad I get to do it. My wife loves the pandemic because she gets to work from home, so no more commuting to work. She has basically gotten back two hours of her day. I'm in NZ so super lucky. When it first hit we locked down for four weeks, I'm self-employed so the government gave me a wage subsidy, like 30% of my normal income, but plenty to live on. Best bit is I was renovating my house at the time, so I got paid to renovate my own place for four weeks. Mystery of stuff.